Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about a summary of uh, time series decomposition that we discussed in this chapter. The primary purpose of this chapter was to explore various patterns in a time series by splitting our time series into three of its components. So what we do, we decompose our time series based on uh, the trend cycle component and the seasonal component and then whatever is uh, left over after decomposing uh, these two components. So these are the three components that we discussed in this chapter. Now the important thing here is that when we decompose a time series, we can either use an additive model or we can use a multiplicative model to decompose this time series. Now this was our additive model. If uh, we are using a multiplicative model, these three components will enter multiplicatively in this model. Now the main difference between an additive model and the multiplicative model is that uh, if these three variations, the trend cycle, seasonal component and the remainder component, they are pretty stable over the level of the series, that is they are not proportion to the level of the series, then we use an additive model. And if they are proportion to the level of the series, we use a multiplicative model. Now there are various uh, time series decomposition methods and I discussed four in this uh, chapter. The first method I discussed was uh, classical decomposition and here we assume that uh, the seasonal component is uh, constant from year to year and again we can decompose a time series into three of its components by using either an additive model or the multiplicative model using uh, the classical decomposition. And then I talked about X11 decomposition, shear decomposition and an STL decomposition. And the STL decomposition was uh, preferable over some of these decomposition methods as it was robust and versatile uh, and it can handle any type of seasonality and also the seasonal component is allowed to change over time. And then we can also use uh, these decomposition methods to forecast a time series. Now the primary purpose of these uh, decomposition methods was to discover and split uh, these three patterns of a time series. But we can also use uh, these decomposition methods to forecast any time series. So this is what we did uh, in this uh, chapter. Alright, I'll see you in the next video to talk about exponential smoothing. Bye-bye.